Hey guys, it's Angela. I am um, wanted to come on here and show a few things that I picked up from Hobby Lobby and Tuesday morning. I went the other day to Tuesday morning. I didn't really find very much, but I did get a couple of things. Uh, and today I went by Hobby Lobby, like I said, but I also stopped at the other day, Mother's Day, I guess, or the day before Mother's Day, I stopped at Michael's, and I only got two things there. It's really not even or three things, probably not worth showing, but anyway, um, the first thing that I got from Michael's were these, um, little flowers, I want to try to make some of these, but, um, I needed them for my mom's present, and, not these, but I wanted some, hand, like, little flowers, so anyway, these are only $1.29, they're originally $3.99, those are Recollections brand, I wanted some more enamel dots, um, it was between this and the flowers, um, I made one of those, what did I use? It was a die and it was a treat bag topper, the one that I got from Avery L. Um, and I used that and I wanted to put, I put a banner up there and I said Happy Mother's Day, I wrote Happy Mother's Day on it and I wanted to um, write or put, you know, something on it. So it was either enamel dots or um, the flowers and so I picked up both of these. And these were cute because they were only dollars twenty nine. I like the colors. And then lastly, I got these, and these were not on clearance, but I had the coupon, um, so I got forty percent off of these. And I used one of those for my mom's present. But I wanted to see if I could pull one apart and try to make them myself. So that's all I got from Michaels. Not very exciting, but um, I actually went there to look for besides that, but to look for the new washi, and they didn't have it. So. Um, let's see, I went to Hobby Lobby today, and I, this was not on sale any longer, and I was bummed about it, but I picked up this, um, glitter canvas, and I just got the gold one, it was $5, and I didn't want to wait for it to go back on sale, I thought it was on sale this week, but apparently it wasn't. So, anywho, um, I want to try to make some chunky charms, it's one of the things I wish for on Lori's channel, um, let the wishing begin because I really want to learn how to make them and I'd like to see how other people do it. So anyway, I got these beads. They were only a dollar eight. And they're just like a bright pink. They're plasticky, but they're really pretty. I thought the color was pretty. So I grabbed those and I grabbed this just because it was a dollar and it could be like, you know, the bead that you put at the very top or or whatever, like the highlight basically of, of the charm. And it's just beads that are all strung together or wired together. And that was a dollar. And then I grabbed these because I wanted them. I saw Nurse Tara do one. And she used the eye pins. And then she took this. I don't even know if she used the eye pins. Anyway, she made her own. So I thought, well, I'm going to get this because I know it would be useful. And not only that, it's got the wire cutters on it. Even though I just, I'll show you ones that I just picked up Tuesday morning. But these seemed real nice for $5.99. I picked up these little, I've always wanted these and they were half off this week. I just really think that the color of these are really sweet. So um, it's the Poppies and Papery from the Paper Studio. And I got those for $2. And these were, this was in the jewelry area where, you know, like you make jewelry. It's called Blank Slate and it was $1.99 but it was half off. And so I got them. They're little iridescent stars. And these are little iridescent hearts. Very, very pretty. And like I said, they were half off, so they were only a dollar. I thought you got a good bit for the price. And then for my 40% off coupon, I saw, and I cannot remember her name, but she made a little mini album, and she used this die. And I'd been looking for it, and I was glad to see it at Hobby Lobby. They never carried it before, and now they have it. It is 661094 by Lori Whitlock, and it has, um, you can kind of see right there at the very top everything that's included, and it has like the front and back of the little album, and then it has a bunch of little extra things that you can put on it. One's a film strip, which you can see right there. So, um, anyway, that ended up being, what, $12, and, uh-oh, there's stuff falling out of it. So, anyway, I'll just show you how, how, um, big they are, which I thought they were a nice size. 
So I'm excited to use this because I want to try to make a mini album. And then this is this is the little um, where you put you know ribbon or whatever through it to hold it together. So the the binding, very cute. And it's got a bunch of little dies that go with it. Um, so a little arrow and some buttons and a little banner. So I thought that was a great deal for the price. I mean, especially because I use my coupon. <laughs> Anyways, so that's basically everything I got. Or not basically, that is everything I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, so, the next place I went to was Tuesday morning. And, um, I'm just frustrated with Tuesday morning lately. I don't know. It just seems like the ones close to me don't ever get anything good. And then, the days that they do have it, I get it, I work, and so everything's gone by the time I have a chance to go there. But um, I can't complain too much because I'm fairly lucky with everything that I do get. So, anywho, um, I got this, and everybody showed these. This is the DCWV Insta Photo. I, it's the black, white, and gray one. It's got some really cute prints in it. Um, like I said, I got the other one, so I thought I could use it for tags. Um, I also, and I checked the 1-800 number for this because somebody showed it and I thought it was a good deal. It's $3.99. Um, there's the SKU if anybody's interested. But it's artsy and, you know, originally $11.99, which I totally wouldn't pay that much. But it does have some really cute things in it. It's got the doily, the crochet doily, and then the lace. It has these really cute little um, sewing related things. And I thought it was really cute, and for the price, you can't beat it. Um, I did grab this, and I'd been meaning to pick this up forever. It was on sale for 20% off. It was $2.99, and it's the little um, craft scratcher, so you can get all the pieces out of your dies and such. So I grabbed that. Um, I also This is the other um, wire things that I got. I got. These are the ones that I picked up from Tuesday morning for $2.99. There's the skew if anybody's interested and these were pretty good um, they have the needle nose and then they have the wire cutter so those are going to be helpful these uh, head pins I grabbed because they were only 99 cent I think I have some silver ones and these are gold I mean Tuesday morning you can't beat it for like the beads and stuff I got these beads, they're by Darice, um, the Mix and Mingle, and I like the colors, it's just white, but for some reason it appealed to me, and there's this cue if anybody's interested, and then I've seen people get these, these are the glass beads by Jewelry, Fun the, by Jewelry Fundamentals, for some reason I can't speak today, but this is, there's the skew. I'm sorry, but this I'm trying to get used to this camera. Aim this different way. So you can see it's like purple, silver, and like either dark purple or black. Um, and then this is like a lighter purple, silver, and like a dark, either, I think it's black. And then lastly, and those are like shaped kind of like diamondy in a way. Um, and these are the last ones that I got. And these are rounded and they're iridescent and they have some pearl pearls in it. I really like this one. And for 99 cent you couldn't beat it. Um, and then the last thing that I got there were these really pretty um, by Tattered Angels. They're shimmers. I've not seen anybody haul these but I'm sure I've just not, I mean, I haven't looked at very many haul videos but um, or actually I have looked at a lot so I haven't seen them. So anyway, it's got really pretty shimmer on the bottom. I'm trying to shake it up really good. So this is like an orange color, and you can see it swirling. It's very, very pretty. And I didn't show the skew. I really don't like showing the skews, honestly, because it just takes too much time. And then it doesn't want to focus, and blah, blah, blah. So is that showing it now? There we go. So then the next one I got was, oh, does it even say the color on here? It has a little swatch on the top, but I don't actually see the name of it. Um, I don't know what this color is like a bronzy color, but it's like in a red base. Very pretty. 
Um, I got this really bright blue one. And I don't even know if it, this is camera is going to do this justice, but you can see the lid. But it's very, very pretty. The color. It's like a cobalt. And this, these do have brushes in the, hand, in the handles. So it does say that. And I'll attempt to show you guys because I haven't even opened these yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming that they're going to work really well. But you can see how shimmery that is on the bottom. And I'm going to shake it up. Uh, and you can see it swirling around. Very, very pretty. And that's the top. It's like a purple. This one is. And you can see it's almost like a... Um, a... Um, what do you call it? Nail polish. Brush. So... Hopefully, I would love, I'm going to try to use these on a project soon. So, that was everything I got from stores. Um, I know I ordered some stuff on the internet, and I think I've already showed that. But, anyway, I did pick up a couple of these magazines. Uh, the card making magazine, I got it from Barnes & Noble. And, it has, I really like these because it has good ideas in it. The one that I like the best is this one. And it's the Stamper Sampler, and it's the Take 10, and it has a bunch of really, really good um, ideas in it. But with that other one, the card making and paper crafting, um, came with this. This was the free thing with it, and they usually have pretty good things that they send, or attach to the magazine for free. This is Fairies of Spring. It's three stamps, an embossing folder, and then designer papers. But really pretty, and in the magazine, it's got some really good ideas that they've used these with. Very, very cute. Um, so anyway, that's everything I got crafty wise. Um, I was, I did show the cards I was working on, and I signed up. Oh, well, I put maybe that I would do a bling um, flip book on on the Facebook group. I am still trying to start with the close to my heart. I haven't really you know, push selling anything because I'm not really a salesperson, but again, if anybody's interested, I'll put my link down below, and I am planning on making a few cards with the items that I've purchased for myself. So, thank everybody for watching, and have a great night.